Welcome to Do Not Steal, a podcast analyzing original characters posted by their creators. An original character, or OC, is a fan creation meant to exist alongside established characters in the same fictional world. So, DP, you wanted to do an Overwatch horror OC, is that correct? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, and is this because of a deep-seated uh, fetish for Overwatch characters? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I just like theorizing what cool ideas people could come up with for characters. Hmm. It's almost like we did an episode where we came up with our own characters. Mm-hmm. Uh, link in the description, maybe? I don't know. But, yeah. Sure. Probably. So, so DP, if you Elias found remembers. someone for us? Oh, go ahead. <laughs> if Elias remembers. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is it about uh, Overwatch that makes you feel like it needs more horror? Uh, I think that it... Well, that's that's kind of the thing. I wish that there were more explorations of, like, disparate kinds of characters. So far, the only, like, horror kind of character we have is... Um, is Reaper, hmm. but then also, kind of interestingly, the person who's most connected to Reaper in the story is Soldier 76, and in his short, he's kind of like, almost like a horror character, but he's hunting down bad guys. Right. Uh, that, that that kind of, I would like to see his um, ultimate kind of reflect that as well, because like, right now, nobody is scared of Death Blossom. Hmm, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. like, you hit Death Blossom, oh, well, that Reaper's killing himself. Um, <laughs> It's like a, it's like a quick. It's it instantly sends you back to spawn, is what it does. Hey, hey, check it out. Diva is staring at Reaper with her matrix up. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So I think I think it'd be um, uh, a little bit scarier if, when he uses it, he can overheal beforehand. So if you like, you know how like when you kill somebody, you get health back. Right, mm-hmm. right. What if that stacked? And then you could, like, get up to, like, 400 health. And then if you, like, jump in there and you have a Death Blossom, then you're scary. Now, I, I like that idea. Let me propose a, a counter idea. What if, when Reaper is in his Death Blossom alt, he could move really, really fast like a Beyblade? <laughs> 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 what if he just could go all around the map? What, what do you think about that? Do you think what that would be like... really scary, too? <laughs> What if it's like a Death Blossom, but then at the same time, it's also a Reinhardt charge? And so it just, <laughs> you just pick a direction and you're like, woo! <laughs> I like that. Or maybe. <laughs> there's. What I like to do, since I'm a Junkrat main, I'm a dirty, scummy, scuzzy Junkrat main, is I you like really to. Are. I like to use a mine to send Reaper up into the air while he's spinning. And mm-hmm. I like to say in voice chat. You know, look, there goes the helicopter. Look, you know, hey, check out that whirly gig. You know, I like to just... And my team goes, why did you do that? You know, you threw him right onto the team. But I'm like, it, it looks funny. So maybe he could maybe he could fly while he's doing a Death Blossom. What do you think about that? What if instead of, like, sl- slinging the guns around, what if it's just a straight-up T-pose? <laughs> yes! Yes, yes. <laughs> to establish dominance. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Character model just breaks instant T pose. <laughs> so I think uh, Jeff Kaplan, I think we have your new idea uh, for your next update. Have Reaper do a T pose when he ults. Whoa! Wait a minute. Maybe everybody he kills with the death, death blossom could fall over in a T pose. What do you think about that? Mm-hmm. Or they all just immediately stand up erect T pose. No, that's what that's what May does when you get frozen. Now you just instantly move into a T pose. <laughs> <laughs> When you get hacked by Sombra, you walk around in the T-Pose. Yeah, you know that's a good idea. Just make any type of disabling or targeted kill turn people into T-Pose. When, when you Anna sleeps you... Shield. Boop. <laughs> T-Pose. When Anna sleeps you, you go into a T-Pose and you just go flying <laughs> off in a random direction like a Gmod glitch. Yes. <laughs> you just go like... Brrr. <laughs> I think we've, we've done good work here today. Okay, so that was OC... But- Real quick, legitimately, don't you think, like, if you had Death Blossom where it disables your healing ability, but the flip side is you can overheal. So if you sneak up on somebody and then you get, like, 
you know, 300, 400 health that like slowly deteriorates and then people will actually run from your death blossom. Now, would it be like you can overheal uh, when your alt counter is at 100% or? Well, no, like when you have um, j just any time you reap somebody when you like hit into them, it heals you. Mm. But if you have 250 health, your max health, then you start overhealing. I see. And then yes. as you said, it automatically deteriorates if you don't continue killing, but yeah. Yes, but okay. when you use your Reaper ult, it doesn't do that. It doesn't give you the healing anymore. You just go into it. So the whole thing is that, you know how like when you, a Reinhardt has ultimate, you're kind of scared of that Reinhardt? Right. Because it's like, oh shit, are they going to ult? And so like, it's almost better to not even use the ultimate because you keep your opponents afraid. Yes, yeah. Like then people would actually run from your Death Blossom. It's like, shit, he has ultimate and 400 health. We right. better, like, run away. It's like Jason. It's it's one of the best feelings when you have your ult as Reinhardt, and the enemy is trying to take the point, but they're also, like, just dodging back and forth behind walls. <laughs> like, they're just kind of peeking <laughs> at you and, like, running back, because they're like, I don't really want to really take the point yet. Yeah. You, you just kind of stand in there looking at them like, yeah, that's, that's pretty funny looking. It's also funny when you have like a goat's comp versus a goat's comp and you know the the Reinhardts have ultimate and you see the Brigida running up and then like the rest of your team just runs away because they're just like, we're going to get shattered. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. So for uh, anybody who doesn't play Overwatch, um, I guess you're not here anymore, so I don't have to say anything to you, but we have an Overwatch <laughs> OC character. We do. Yeah. Phobia. By the artist, Gemini. By Ooh. the Gemini artist. Yeah. Okay. And so, deep, do we want to go with the usual thing where DP describes what he's seeing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love how I got... This is my job now. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the, this character is wearing, like, cloaky things? <laughs> Tattered cloaks. Tattered cloaks. Cl cloaky Cl things, by the way, is my favorite uh, clothing store. <laughs> Uh, clo cloacas. He's wearing cloacas, <laughs> like like a necklace of ears. <laughs> he's wearing cloacas. <laughs> um, so he's wearing what's? Uh, he kind of looks like that one monster from Scooby Doo. I was gonna say he looks like uh, Blue Reaper. He he looks like if you took Ezio from Assassin's Creed and tried to yeah. make him into oh, a uh, yeah, yeah. Overwatch character. Mm -hmm. And so he's got this blue outfit, this blue cloak on, uh, some some brown pants. Uh, so when he shits himself, he don't notice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When he sees that... Reaper in a T pose, Beyblading toward him from twenty miles away. <laughs> Phobia, I need you to be scared. And then he's just like, "That's my secret cap. I'm always shitting my pants." <laughs> uh, and he's got, uh, how would you describe that gun? Like this, like. S -s weird bony looking gun it's a it looks short like a, reaper gun it's yeah it's a jagged amalgamation of bones or talons or something it says surgeon's injector by the way uh bony yeah. amalgamation of talons my least favorite fried chicken restaurant mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah the gun looks like something you'd see in halo i think like mm -hmm. a needler but kind of less defined and I don't understand how it's a surgeon's injector because when I think a surgeon I think of very like medical clinical uh, utilitarian very obvious design this is very stylized like Mercy's staff <laughs> yeah I mean like I'm trying not to say Mercy because I don't want to be like you just you know you did a shitty your Mercy I don't oh, want to say that but um like yeah the, the, the gun is kind of just weird and Oddly shaped and doesn't match with its description as surgeon's injector to me. I will point well, out well, we that Anna seen... does have the injector, so yeah, too. Well, we haven't like actually read what the right. injector does yet, so maybe like when we read that, it'll make maybe. more sense. What but... if it's a surgeon's injector? What if it like injects kidneys into you? <laughs> <laughs> it just like injects organs for transplants. You just get shot, and you have like another another liver, you know. Well, what if it just injects an autoimmune disease into you? <laughs> Unwashed surgeon's injector. 
<laughs> God. Uh, oh man, I'm liking it. So, yeah, I I saw this character and I I saw its abilities and I wanted to talk about it. Okay. Well, I saw like the the bill the ability icons and specifically the passive ability creeping terror. And... Right. Because we wanted to, you wanted to find. I should. I almost said we. You wanted to find a um, yes horror themed Overwatch OC. So here we, we go. Do the show about horror OCs. Mm. I, wanted, mm. I, wanted, I just want to talk about Overwatch. Abyss me, please let DP talk. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to do a show about OC. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Abyss me. So the the passive abilities icon for. By the way, please click on this. That way you can actually... Yeah. Please clap. Please click on yeah. this so you can actually see what the art looks like. But there's a um, uh, an icon for a passive ability called Creeping Terror, and it's a skull. It's literally just... It's literally just... What's his name? Papyrus. Uh, from, papi- it's literally just Papyrus. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, it's just yeah. Papyrus. It's I didn't, amazing. Oh, I didn't realize that until you said it's literally just, and then I was like, oh, yeah. I was trying to place the name. I'm like, I fucking, I've seen that before. Where the hell is that from? (laughs) Oh man, that that should be the sound Reaper makes when he does his Death Blossom. (laughs) (laughs) I I think he should just sound like Freddy Freaker. Oh yeah, he's deep posing. (laughs) You know what? Just replace Reaper with Freddy Freaker in Overwatch, and I think you got a much better uh, character to play. Just replace Reaper with Fred Dreyer. God damn it. Hunter. Just replace Reaper. Just replace his voice actor with Fred Savage. <laughs> I, lo- I love that we said that, that. That I said Fred Dreyer. <laughs> and Slime Beast is just like, I don't know what yeah, that is. I have no but fucking I know idea. that it's a reference to Frisky Dingo. Yeah. <laughs> it always is. What's the reference? Uh, Archer. Moving on. Moving on. So we've said Surgeon's Injector, we've said Creeping Terror, his passive, what else do we have? The left have... shift is Hysteria, and it looks like Which Trump's looks... toupee? It looks like a, a, a whale? Oh, yeah. Swimming down, so I don't know why, what this has to do with Hysteria. No, wait, that's Zarya's haircut. Oh. <laughs> it does drive me insane. If, if the enemy team has a Zarya, then pressing shift makes you point and laugh at her hairstyle. <laughs> In the hysterics. <laughs> and the, what is that? The ultimate is phobophobia. The fear of having a fear. Yeah. And it looks like a Rorschach ink blot, I guess. <laughs> Rorschach! Somebody Rorschach. draw that. A shark like Jaws, but with like Rorschach <laughs> patterns on his face. Rorschach. <laughs> so should, should we actually talk about what this character does? No. Yeah, because yes. I would say the design is... It's not bad. It's a little underwhelming. I don't know why his gloves have what appear to be ink stains that also appear to be leeches on them. Gauntlets, you know what? You know what? I think that they're Rorschachy things. Yeah, uh, maybe. I think that they they sift around and oh, are all yeah. weird and and that'd be pretty cool if you actually like rendered that character and your hands are always like having moving textures and shit. Yeah. Well, then I would go all the way and I'd have more of his uh, his clothing do that. The because only if problem. It's just the hands, okay. you don't see that much. Like I would do the definitely the hood, the cowl, possibly um, the the cloak he's wearing. I guess. Well, the, like, there's the there's the cowl, and then there's the cloak. Yeah, they could mm-hmm. do that on the cloak, but then like I think what Slime Beast was going to say is that's restrictive for like coming up with alternate skins because then you have to find cool ways to work that in. Actually, oh, I could could say, say I was going to say skin. if you can see your own hands and they keep shifting colors like in first person. Um, mm-hmm. I play with way too many stoners. Um, <laughs> they would just be looking at that the entire time. <laughs> Look at my hands. Well, if that got people to play more support, I wouldn't give a shit. Mm. Any, any, here's a break. Just jingle keys in front of their their stupid DPS main faces <laughs> to get them to play a support character. I yes. don't give a shit. Oh man. Uh, so the the real name, original name. Samuel Crow. Hmm. Call sign Phobia. Phobia is a good name for for a character. Yeah. I, I like how um, Overwatch kind of has c- certain characters kind of have generic names, and there's right. something cool to that. Yeah. It kind of feels more realistic. It F- feels like you're in that world. So it does like, feel like they are in the military. 
Yeah. yeah. I like the idea. Ball and Mercy. Like yeah. those are those sound like real call sign names. I like yeah. the idea that you're like you're on a team with Wrecking Ball and Roadhog and Reaper, yeah. and then you've got the character Serafina. <laughs> like it's like just a real name thrown in. It's pretty you know. That's that's something that always like confused me though, is the fact that Anna's name is just Anna. Yeah. Like you think she's like she's a you know, captain. Do you think she would have like a cool call sign? Well, they gave her that skin called Shrike. I think that would have been a good name. Mm, well, the, yeah. Yeah. I think and they also like um shit. Did was her call sign like Horus at some point? Horse? Uh, Horus. Horus. <laughs> that horse Anna. That workhorse. Uh, that horse over there. Okay, I, I just want to mention, I've mentioned this before, but I love the fact that almost every character in Overwatch is supposed to be dead. Anna, we thought you were dead. I thought you were dead, Jack. Well, I thought Reaper was dead. Genji, you were dead. <laughs> Who's on next dead? Uh. Anyway. It, Re- Reaper does have like the best line of like, I thought you were dead. It didn't take. Yeah. <laughs> God. You All tell right. me, Doc. Yeah. And then age 23. It's a youngin. So I guess we're switching to Abysme now? Based sure. On that uh, affiliation Talon? Might want to darken up their clothing a little bit more. Hmm. Well, then that'd be the uh, youngest member of Talon. It would be very young. And it, that's why it's kind of weird. It conflicts with the job head surgeon. At 23? He'd have to be a prodigy. Now, does that impossible. mean... Now think about this though. Does that mean that they're the head of surgery, or that they operate on heads? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, well, phobias are all in the brain, so maybe head surgeon. You know? That's what. That's what the thing. The surgeon injector injects the fears into uh, their oh. head. Oh, okay. Roll support. I'll have to look into the actual what the abilities do. What if the um, gun just gives you a brain tumor? <laughs> Bam, you've got cancer. Aw. Ah, shit. Aw. Got three months to live. <laughs> what if this surgeon's injector pulls the fears out of people's heads and then puts them into other people's heads? Mm. That'd be cool. Maybe. I had a... I, this is sort of a self-serving douchebag thing, but I had a character a while back called Phobiac mm. who had a gun that shot fears. Like, you know, it would shoot, if you're afraid of spiders, it would shoot spiders at you, you know, different shit like that. And one of the, you know, it was supposed to be like a humorous, you know, spoof kind of thing, because he would just fire needles at everyone, because everyone's afraid of needles. <laughs> so the gun was <laughs> mostly just useless, like a needle gun, that's it. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh, health, 200. Ammo, 15 out of 15. Height, 5 Five inches. So, so wait, <laughs> wait, he has fifteen ammo. Yeah, but it, the gun is always loaded. Yeah, yeah, it's um, always for you. It's always oh. at fifteen out of fifteen. Yeah, yes. Yep. But the height is really interesting, though. Five inches eight something. <laughs> He's tiny. <laughs> He's a little five-inch scary dude working for Talon. He will fear me. Doom, doom fist. Send me in. Come on. Throw me at the enemy. Uh, weight 157, so he's five inches tall, but weighs a, got like fucking astronomical mass. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Uh, go ahead and take abilities then, I guess. Abilities. L2. What the fuck oh, is we L2? Got a fucking, we got a fucking filthy got a console player. player. Ew! Ugh. Oh, Disgusting. closed. I closed the tab. Never mind. <laughs> L2. Hysteria. Throw a leech made of black chemicals at an enemy. They are leeches. Ah. Holy shit. I was right. As it drains health, hallucin- uh, hallucinations occur. Not hallucinations. H- hallucio. <laughs> hallucinations occur if you throw chemicals at them. You throw your th- your chemicals. <laughs> this, this character just needs to be a skin for Lucio and call it Hallucio. <laughs> 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 Whoa, man. What am I looking at? <laughs> Look at my hands! Look at my hands! This Molly's taking effect! Good dog! That's Tracer. What What the fuck? Causing the transfer of health from the target to you. So Reaper's <laughs> ability. Activating the ability again near an ally will give them the health instead of you. Okay. Can someone draw a comic 
of Lucio tripping balls and assuming Tracer is like a golden retriever. <laughs> Look at this team. Holy shit, we're dogs. dogs. Going fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking air butt or some shit. Too much fucking ketamine. He doesn't know what's happening. (laughs) (laughs) He he sees her as a dog, and it's like there's no rules that say a dog can't be a member of Overwatch. (laughs) Overwatch, bud. God damn it. Overbud. Fuck. Dogger watch. Doggo watch. Doggo watch. Yes. Can we get a skin of Golden Retracer? (laughs) Oh man. All right, I guess I'll continue going. God damn it! Stop yeah, giving the fury the the furries fuel. Uh, R one, horror's hand, by creating a close hallucination. This will give you an opportunity to get away and to safety before the effect ends. So, like, makes a clone of you that someone uh, attacks, but like it has like minimal health and just disappears. Uh, Sh- Shaco in League of Legends has that. I think I know what they mean. Are L2 and R1 uh, on a controller? Those are not your primary fire, right? Yeah, that's what's kind of weird. But I mean, the primary fire isn't leeches or hallucinations, right? No, no. Okay, good. They're triggered abilities, for sure. Uh, It doesn't... Okay. Yeah, we get to the weapon later. Okay. So the passive, which what DP DP like to see... (laughs) um... (laughs) The passive is creeping terror uh within a short ra- okay within a short radius character movement speed is slowed down by 10 percent. now it, it doesn't say an enemies <laughs> doesn't say enemies so everybody's <laughs> speed is slowed <laughs> down around you man you are bringing me down i don't even want to fucking go fire right now oh no we really thought is. you were dead it's he, he really is he, he's photo negative Lucio. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, and the weapon is Surgeon's Injector, uh, Phobia's, Phobia's trusty medical tool. It has been modified to fire the black chemical, replacing most of his own blood. We're just going to leave that there. That's the last statement uh, with no clarification. Phobia. Will, and and we, don't under, we don't get to learn what the ultimate actually is. Oh fuck yeah! Oh what yeah! God damn it! That's what weird. is this link here? There's no comments, oh. so we can't like. Oh, that's the in- template. Um, I will say that the passive ability of creeping terror is pretty cool. That it's just like a, ne- a photo negative Lucio. That right. would actually be pretty cool to have in team fights. Yeah, I mean that is that that, that is a novel idea for Overwatch. Yeah, they should have a a, a support character that primarily just debuffs. Uh, the other team now, in, DP, in, a more, okay. like, in a more significant way than what already exists DP well, I know that you and I sort of differ on certain things but you know so I don't want to start anything when I restate that I wish that they would add more risky and outlandish abilities to Overwatch we like, don't disagree on this oh okay <laughs> I just was worried I was just worried <laughs> we were gonna I st- don't I, I'm, I, I, I would like that I am just saying that I am happy with what they have added. Right. Okay. I got you. Um, I got you. But I would say that, man, imagine if you paired this with a Lucio. Cause, <laughs> Everybody cause, be like, normal. Ha- <laughs> no, no, no. What I'm saying is, like, on your team, your two supports are Lucio, who oh, gives shit. you the speed boost, and then you have him, who gives the negative speed boost to the enemy team. Because that's, let's be real, that's what they meant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you push through a choke. And then all of a sudden you're basically twenty percent faster. Wow! But by you know virtue of them being slower, it's like a bunch yeah. of Sonic the Hedgehogs beating the shit out of elderly people. That's what it'd be like. Now, if you throw in Mr. Biz, how is his <laughs> passive affected? All of his passives. <laughs> oh my God, Mr. Biz runs faster the more he's shot. <laughs> so, so that would he would be like fifty times faster than everybody. <laughs> Oh, man. Still waiting on that, by the way, Blizzard Activision. Uh, Mr. Biz, when? I mean, they, they added a Mr. Biz skin for Hanzo, but I don't think that's enough, you know? No, it's not. I need a, need a full-fledged character. Yeah. Well, right. be- bearing all of this in mind, I, I think the overall idea of the character is that it drains health from some characters and gives it to others. Right. I th- which yeah, is yes. what 
Moira is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, Wait, yeah. when was this posted? This was probably posted before Moira. Uh, uh, it just says 2017, so... 2017 yeah. to 2018, so it's kind of hard to know. Yeah. That's weird. It should tell us. Oh, wait. Submitted on October 27, 2017. And Moira was released. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that clears <laughs> that up. So, yeah, I think that... I, I see where they're coming from with this character, but I, I think, like, if you would go through all the effort to make this art, you would flesh out the the idea a little more. I mean, yeah. in terms of, like, what the abilities would be. Which, we, yeah, which is a shame because... There's definitely a really core concept here that could work as an anti Lucio, which it's like I don't think we mean to dumb it down to like, oh, you're just an inverse Lucio. That's like that's definitely a niche that should be filled as right. far as a support character. Well, when you look at um you know, why why are you picking Lucio in a team fight? It's for the speed boost. It's straight up for the speed boost. Right. Yeah. So like there's a lot more to Lucio, but when you're being reductionist Mm -hmm. Why are you picking Lucio? It's for speed boost. Yeah. You know, so I, I don't think it's being discharitable by saying that he's like, you know, photo negative Lucio. I think that that's a cool idea. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I mean, it, it would have been nice. I think we, as much as we sort of rag on the descriptions people give of like backstory and shit, I think this could have done a lot, you know, with that. Like, why is he so young and a head surgeon? Yeah, this is this is an interesting occurrence because for once we have way too little information and we're we're wanting for more to flesh out these abilities and this backstory. I mean, you could pretty much say, you know, uh, since Moira was released, it kind of walks on this a little bit. But you could say he's using leeches. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it could be just a thing of you know people saw his work as amoral. But Talon was like, okay, we, we don't mind that. Come come play with your leeches with us. You can sure. help us in battle. We don't give a shit. Sure. <laughs> you know? So, I mean, that's sort of he, Moira's thing, but, you know. Well, he he also kind of has, like, this shit-eating grin. But, like, then again, is, 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 is and, I, and I like that, because Moira kind of has a shit-eating grin when she smiles, too. Right. But, like, you, you wouldn't say that Brigida's really stepping on Reinhardt's toes would you well that's true mm, no but i don't get granted i haven't played in months and i just reinstalled the game but um i never felt the same like i never react to reinhardt the same way i react to brigitte if well, that yeah. makes sense yes. maybe that's that maybe that's my shortcoming but it's no I've never that's how felt you should difference. that's how you should be reacting yeah well. i think that um Overwatch, for as much as I would complain about a lot of what they do, I think Overwatch was very smart in releasing Brigitte as Reinhardt Jr. Yeah. Because by attaching the two characters and by saying, yeah, they're related, you know, in, in their uh, designs and their history and everything, and it's Torbjorn's daughter, but, you know, blah, blah, blah. They were smart in doing that because it wasn't like, here's Brigitte, a totally unrelated character who's similar to Reinhardt, because then it might be like, oh, that's just that's just a copy of Reinhardt. You know, why are you doing this? But they were smart to, you know, make it so it's like, you see, there's a reason that she has a shield and can, you know, do a small rush at people. Like, Reinhardt can do, you know, a big rush and has a big shield. Well, yeah. they, kind of, they did the same thing with Ash now, where it's like, hey, this character is related to McCree. Right. And so if it kind of, like, fulfills a similar role to McCree, then that's why. Hmm. Yeah, but it's also a hot chick in high heels, so that's why it relates to to Widowmaker, I guess. <laughs> sure. I I but, really but apparently you know... Ash okay. has replaced Chelsea's waifu. Oh, Widowmaker is no longer Chelsea's waifu; it's Ash. Damn. Yeah. Eh. Leaving leaving Widowmaker for a piece of Ash. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I I, I equate her more to Junkrat, I guess, because I'm a Junkrat main. Because I see the the dynamite, I see the jump. You know, I see all that stuff, and I'm like, okay, I know how to use this. <laughs> but... Do you? I oh, thought yeah. you had shit aim. No, I don't have shit aim. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought before you were just like, I play Junkrat because I have shit aim. Oh, well, that was... That's why everybody plays Junkrat. So, I mean, you don't have to aim and, you know, whatever. But, um... <clears throat> I mean, Off I have the shit subject, aim, which, which is why I'm trying to like play Ash to get better at my aim because I finally have a name character I like. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, wh what happened was uh, a few nights ago, 
we were playing in a round, not you, not us in this call, but I'm just sort of telling the story to the guys in the call for anybody listening. We were playing a match, and uh, the Farah, of course, the enemy Farah, was shitting on our team. Mm-hmm. So I switched off to Ash, mm-hmm. and dude in the voice call says, uh, nobody should be playing Ash unless they have at least 30 hours on her. So I said, <laughs> all right, and I just hopped myself up onto a platform and just scoped on Farah the entire time and just focused her. I mean, it's like... <laughs> as as big, Widowmaker? Big... Say what? As Widowmaker, or...? Uh, as, as Ash. As okay, Ash. okay. But, you know, it was just like, you know, because... I can hop up, you know, and throw dynamite and shit like that, whereas with, mm-hmm. you know, Widowmaker, I can just poison people, but, you know, so I just was, like, picking off Farah the entire time, and I was just like, okay, yeah, this is really, really a high learning curve, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing, is, like, Widowmaker scopes in, so it's hard to, like, have situational awareness. Yeah. McCree doesn't have the same magnification, and then, like, Ash is literally just the best of both word- worlds at countering. Right. Yeah, that's. I used to, before Ash, I would go Hanzo, you know, in that situation, because I can't fucking stand that scope on Widowmaker. But. Yeah, anyway. You you gotta be a pretty high level player to appreciate Widowmaker. (laughs) (laughs) You have to have a pretty high IQ, yeah. So. Um, Yeah. This kind of petered out. Do you want me to link the next character we're doing? Because we're doing. For everybody out there, we're doing a two for one. Bonus. Two for one, a bonus. Another I don't short know what month it's is coming out, but bonus. Bonus! It's a nice uh, oh, are you January UK, bonus. Are, are, our UK listeners are going to have a great time with this one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Jesus. Oh, God. So, oh, boy. Oh, God. as per tradition, why don't you tell us who we're talking about, DP? <laughs> talking about Fearful <laughs> Fanny. I'm sorry, what was that? I, I couldn't quite hear you. Fearful Fanny. Oh. Fearful, Fearful Fanny. Fanny. Or simply simply Fanny. <laughs> That's the sitcom she's in. Simply Fanny. Simply Fanny. She's like shrugging on the poster. Yeah. But eh. do you, so do you With want a broken to... bottle and a knife. Uh, do you want to s- describe how she looks or would you like to pass the torch? Uh I will I will just say homeless and then pass the torch. <laughs> Homeless, um, dark bags under her eyes, tattered clothing. Boots look fine, though, so whatever. Mm. Uh, Knife, not in her hand, but floating kind of off to her left shoulder. And then a broken bottle, which seems to be suspended in animation off to her other side. And uh, silhouetted in blood. And a nice pair of hobo gloves. Some fingerless gloves. Yeah. So, by you know, white noise kinda, ghost, can, you know the gutter snipe you want to bang? I guess I don't know. The, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me huh? just see. What? Sorry, eighteen years old. Okay, never mind. I, I had to check the description. Ha! Okay, you're safe. You thought you're safe. you had me. You thought you had me. <laughs> wrong. Uh, Abysmi is a lawyer, so he knows about consent laws. Age of consent. Well, actually, I think age of consent is uh, not. I think it's below eighteen in the UK. Not that this is from the UK, but we're assuming. But whatever. Wait a minute. Uh, you said you're going overseas next week. Where are you going? UK. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder I, why. <laughs> not not next week. I'm doing that in the um, first two weekends. of. Uh, are you first going over to the okay. UK to bang underage homeless women? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> are you going to... You're going you're gonna to find yourself some fearful fanny, are you? <laughs> going to have a bit of that fearful fanny, eh? That's what um, we're gonna start calling our fans. Fearful fannies. Fearful fannies. Yes. Fearful fannies. Oh my god! The f- welcome to the Fear Fiction Podcast. All our fearful fannies out there. Oh man. Yeah. God damn uh, it. God damn it. Sick <sighs> and banana. So. God damn it! This is definitely not from the UK. Who would call this fearful fanny of the UK? <laughs> I mean. Does it- does anyone out there still not know what like fanny means? In America, fanny means ass, mm-hmm. and fanny in the UK means vagina. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not that not that far off. So, yeah, <laughs> they're so, right next to each other. Yeah, I got to tell you, when I mentioned the term fanny pack when I was in college in the UK, 
I got a lot of raised eyebrows of <laughs> what? The what? <laughs> Uh, this boy over here said he likes stuffing baloney into his fanny pack. I don't understand. I, I, I got I got a bird that you may want to uh, talk to. Her name is Fearful Fanny. <laughs> Seems to be up your alley. Damn. Um, I, I'm guessing like Fearful uh, Fanny Pack in the UK would just be like, you mean like a fleshlight, mate? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. That, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> or, or as we call it, uh, a f- flesh torch. <laughs> Flesh Torch. <laughs> Flesh Torch, by the way, my favorite Marvel superhero. <laughs> the the, uh, the it's less like Mr. remembered Biz. Fantastic like... Four member Flesh Torch. <laughs> Flesh Torch is, is like the unsuccessful version of that. He just lights on fire and runs around because he's on fire. Oh, uh, like the, uh, um, the uh, goddamn Adventure Brothers version of the Fantastic Four. <laughs> Oh, God. Can we get a Flesh Torch skin for Mr. Biz? <laughs> ah! Maybe, yeah. Ah! Might as well. I picture I picture the skin being basically like one of the Attack on Titan characters, but on fire. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. But, uh, here we go. So it's a pretty simple description of the, uh, of the artwork, so I guess let's dive into the text. Um, I guess pasta name? Fearful oh, Fanny. she's an icon pasta. Mm. Um, real name, Fanny Donovan. What is Fanny for? Uh, is it Francine or something like that? No, that'd be a Franny? Fran? No. Phantasm? (laughs) (laughs) People in America named Francine would just go by Francine. Maybe. They would not go by Fanny. Or Fran? Yeah. Or Fran, yeah. Yeah, it'd be Fran. Anyway. Uh, Alias's nicknames... Poltergeist, Freaky Fanny. <laughs> oh, which... c- come on, mate! You want to get into the most exclusive club in all of London, the Freaky Fanny? I was about to have sex with this bird, but then she turned out to have a Freaky Fanny, and I was out of there. I studied all your moves. <laughs> uh, haunted Knife Girl, hmm. Paranoid. Hmm. Wow, that's a lot of aliases. Yeah. Freaky Fanny is the Miss Male character of Freddy Freaker. <laughs> Age. 18. All right. Species. Human. Sex. Yes, female. Nationality. American. Texas. All right. No, te- Texan. Correct te- it to Texan. <laughs> they are a people unto their own. We all know this. Um, current residence. Homeless, roaming Mexico. Ah. Astrological sign, Aquarius. Alignment, chaotic neutral. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sexual preference, heterosexual. Boo, delete it. (laughs) What is this? Report this. What is this gay-ass heterosexual character? Yeah. Uh, Languages spoken. That's a weird way to label that. Uh, English native sp- uh, language, Spanish, Spanish fluently. All right. Height one. <laughs> one meter. <laughs> one meter. <laughs> one thousand six hundred and seven meters. meters. <laughs> one thousand six hundred and seventy meters without the zero. <laughs> I, I I I have no idea. One point six seven. I think is what they mean. <laughs> But there's a Which even there. then would not be very tall, I think. Uh, yeah, weight fifty-seven kilograms. Physical build, <laughs> weight fifty-seven liters. <laughs> Is this person from the UK? Fluid ounces. Because they're describing this in like in metric. Yeah. I don't know. Stupid dumb metric. If this is another Canadian, I swear. Oh, okay. Do, do Canadians use metric? I th- Everybody but America. <laughs> um, I think it I depends where you are. I think it depends where you are in Canada. I, I thought Canada was dumb like us too. Probably. Uh, physical build: slim, a bit weak looking, skin tone, pale, dark bags under eyes due to severe insomnia. Mm-hmm. By color, color spelt in the Uh-oh. UK is totally tradition. Pretty. Yeah. Wait, then. Then they know what Fanny means. Then they say, know what, means. what the fuck? So they basically are we, are, we, are we taking the piss? Did we take the bait? I probably. 
they basically named their character the equivalent of uh, Vengeful Vagina. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I, I, mm-hmm. I guess. I guess. Um, okay. The hair, black, down, long, and messy. Distinguishing down, features. Sorry, go ahead. Down in the comments, Lima Bean says, Fanny. And then the author, White Noise Goat, says, Oh, did I uh, do something wrong? And then Lima Bean is just like, No, it just means something where I'm from. Hmm. Yeah. Also, it is interesting that the first uh, comment says, Do you RP? And the author responds with, not anymore. I've sold this OC. Mm. I don't know how Isn't you that do illegal? that. Isn't <laughs> that illegal? Selling, selling, uh, selling people? <laughs> selling Fanny? Not in, uh, God damn it. Not in certain fucking counties in uh, Utah. Fanny is Nevada. American. Reno, Nevada. But yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Where was I? Hair, uh, I guess. Distinguishing features. Oh. Stutters a lot when she talks. Has slightly twitchy fingers. Bags under eyes. Clothing. Always wears her tattered coat and fingerless gloves, which she got from a poor family in the suburbs of Mexico City, where she stayed for a while before ending up killing them. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Also wears the clothes she wore at the time she ran away from home, which are a pastel pink shirt, blue jeans, and dark blue slash gray boots. Hmm. So by the distinguishing features, we have a twitchy baggy fanny. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) What? Did I do something wrong? Pers- <laughs> Not at all. Personality. Always cautious and tends to run away from everyone she sees. That could be problematic. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. She's Mr. Biz. Yes. <laughs> She's Mr. Biz's illegitimate daughter. Yeah. Oh, no. Fanny Biz. <laughs> Because she... I don't 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 impugn Mr. Biz's reputation that way. <laughs> Mr. Biz would be a great father. True. He would. He would. He would adopt. Maybe maybe it's just an estranged daughter. Because he's Mr. Biz. Because she doesn't. He's always he's always working. He's always doing yeah. his job of running around and yelling. <laughs> yes, dropping things. Because she doesn't want to harm them. Oh, that's why she runs away. Warns people when they come too close to her. However, she is not antisocial and still longs for love and warmth. Ah. Therefore, she sometimes tries to ignore her fears and stay with people. She always seems a bit stressed, but is not shy around others, just fearful. Meow. Her ultimate wish is to be with someone who won't die, <laughs> even if her powers <laughs> would impale that person with sharp objects. <laughs> Uh, you, guys, can you mortal? relate? Uh, are you, do you look no. for that in a mate, someone who won't die? <laughs> I, I Are you immortal? I only date guys who are immortal. I'm sorry. It's just a thing I have. Yeah. She always... She, tra- she, she, she grows up watching the Highlander. It's like... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this, he's, That's my fetish. People who don't die. He's the only one for me, but yeah. She always tries to stay as far away from any sharp or otherwise potentially dangerous objects as possible. So people and objects are her fears. (laughs) Damn, what a sad life. Fears. I'm afraid of clouds. (laughs) Yeah. Fears. Her telekinetic powers. Killing people. Blood and gore. She is very sensitive to it. Her powers one day turning against herself and trying to kill her. Dying in her sleep. Rage and sharp objects. Well, I mean, that's why she... she's an insomniac, yeah. Did she get hit by Phobia's ultimate? Maybe. <laughs> it sounds like. Maybe that's what the ultimate does that we, you know, that they never explained. It actually it gives turns the you player. Into a homeless girl roaming. <laughs> yes! <in Mexico>. <laughs> <laughs> it places you right into that Soldier 76 animatic, you know, <laughs> you're just roaming around. The, the ultimate hits, it's like, it's like now going to Dorado. It's like, I. Uh, I thought I thought I was I thought we were playing Numbani. <laughs> You're just all alone on the map, yeah. Fanny, what are you doing sitting in base? Come on, uh, I'm scared. Of people, sorry, can't yeah. can't move. Uh, uh, don't worry, the the people out here are all really nice. Well, do they have objects? Yes. Oh, well, no. Are they immortal? Because if not, then I'm sorry. Uh, yes, they do have a Brigitte. Okay, good. <laughs> they, they have a Reaper, so here ah, it's okay. fine. So, so I think that a lot of these OCs are written by young people. 
mm-hmm. it's it's very indicative indicative of the fact that they are very much so afraid of what's inside of them. Mm. So they're you know they're afraid of like hurting people and you know want to keep their distance. And then there's this whole thing about like I'm not an introvert. I'm just afraid of you know hurting people. Right. And mm-hmm. I think that that's uh, lay, being laid to bear here. You're, you're afraid of what would happen if the world truly experienced your gifts. Mm-hmm. Good or evil? Fanny is mostly towards good, having a warm heart and would almost never intentionally hurt others. However, the one way she can control her powers, being through rage, makes her total nu- towards neutral as well. She can control her powers through rage. Okay. Wishes. That was oh. that was worded poorly. Mm. Yeah, I don't yeah. think that means what that me- meant to mean. I don't. I don't. Not sure what it is meaning to mean. Um, I think it means that because what? Well, sorry, what is she rated as? She's rated as chaotic neutral. She's so a she, cheater. <laughs> she would be good if she didn't have like rage problems. Maybe so. The rage sometimes, I think, takes over her, and so she maybe kills indiscriminately, so it's not like she's doing it out of evil spite, but she can't be considered good because problems, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. What's the, so she's like Clayface. Okay. Eh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't, okay, sure. I can Wish, see that. Do, you know, do you know Clayface? I know yeah. Clayface, but I'm not sure about the not wanting to hurt people thing. I, it, it depends like where in his arc you're talking about. Oh, okay. It's probably one I'm not familiar with. Yeah. Because I remember in Teen Titans, wasn't Clayface supposed to be, like, asleep all the time? Because if he wakes up, he just instantly turns into Clayface and, like, can't control himself? Yeah. Oh, okay. And that would if make... you take the uh, the Batman animated series version, he, like, he, he, he fights it for a very long time and just uses it to be an actor. And only when he loses control does he start hurting people because of, like, self-deprecation and rage and shit. Hmm. So, yeah, I can see that. Wishes and goals. To live like a normal girl again, and either lose her powers or manage to control them and become an Avenger. No, I added that. (laughs) And to find someone who can withstand and survive her involuntary knife and glass throwing. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, hey, do you want a drink? No, I'll I'll only kill you. (laughs) I throw (laughs) knives at you because I love you. (laughs) So, my question is this. We have someone from Texas living in Mexico who's given to fits of throwing things at people Mm -hmm. Um, glasses, knives tortillas Jesus Christ (laughs) I can always count on DP to go you know where I'm not going but yeah what kind of bottles were they oh no tequila Tequila bottles no (laughs) that really sucks because the worms get in the wound you know but yeah what kind of what kind of alcohol? What's the drinking age in Mexico? Mexico, born. Well, uh-huh. Yeah, whenever you want to. No one's enforcing it. Is that is that a is that your advice as a lawyer to go to Mexico and <laughs> yes. buy children alcohol? Uh, if you are a ch- if you are a child, uh, go to Mexico. No <laughs> to stop you. God damn it. <laughs> Okay, um... This is DP again, I believe? Yeah, it's DP. <clears throat> Powers, <throat> weapons, and weaknesses. Telekinesis, involuntary and uncontrolled. At, ra- <laughs> at random, objects around her will start flying around <laughs> and get hurled at people against her will, sometimes killing them in the process. Hmm. There is only one way she can control these te- telekinetic powers, and that is by being in a state of rage. That okay. makes no sense. That makes no sense. See, now couldn't you just safely stow her in the ball pit at McDonald's? Or like, this would be a person who should admit themselves to a psychiatric ward so they can be in a nice padded room and not hurt anybody ever. Hmm. What but happened? The psychiatric hospital itself starts getting flown around. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to that orderly? I don't know. He was smothered with the walls of the pad itself. <laughs> So basically, controlled or not, it ends up hurting people. Hmm. Her powers seem to be able to reach in a radius of eight meters around her, but it is, but it is unsure since sometimes it reaches further and at other times it won't go 
further than two meters. It just say, rays. Oh fuck it! <laughs> what a pointless sentence. Uh, the size. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, eight, except when it's not. When it's two, but when it's not. By the way, when Abysme is, uh, since he's a lawyer, when he's part of a trial, like a criminal case, and someone gets put in jail, he goes, "Oh God, what a pointless sentence." <laughs> but, yeah. It's a, it's a uh, tragedy. This- the strength of it is also mostly unknown, but it has been estimated that the max can it can lift off the ground is about forty kilograms. Four hundred? Nope. No. Nope. Four hundred kilograms. There we go. Hmm. Whenever Fanny is really pissed and therefore gets control over her powers, they appear to be stronger than usual. Hmm. Okay. Weapons anything that lies within reach of her telekinetic powers and weighs less than four hundred kilograms. This includes living beings. Oh, <laughs> she can just mm. throw people around. Okay. <laughs> what the body said. The weaknesses. Her stressful nature often impedes rational thinking <clears throat> and makes her show signs of paranoia. And she is physically <clears throat> very weak God despite it. her inhumanly strong telekinesis. Tends to run rather than to engage in combat. Okay. I. Uh, Abysme has a big ass paragraph to go through here, but before we get to that, I have a sort of mind blowing. Please blowing... subscribe to the Fear Fiction podcast. Yeah. Please channel. subscribe and buy a fear box. What's inside Tell it? You. Kinetically it's kill you. smash that like button. Do it. Hermetically seal the like like button. And, try, um, try to with your mind hit the subscribe button, and if it doesn't work, then maybe just use your finger. Yeah. Ring that bell with your brain. But here's what I was actually going to say. <laughs> um, I've, I I want to sort of blow your minds here. Wouldn't this be a good Overwatch OC? Your ultimate would be to throw your teammates at the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Involuntarily, and it just selects them at random. Yeah, you just you, you just have like a, a hurricane of your teammates swirling around you and peeling off and hitting people. That would be a great, like, we kind of said that Mr. Biz should just be able to drop into a match and, like, yeah. isn't on either team. This would be another one to just drop in and just start throwing <laughs> random characters at each other. Oh, man. Well, well imagine uh, an unlimited. You could play one one uh, uh, <laughs> Freaky Fanny and then five Mr. Bizzes and just throw <laughs> the Mr. Bizzes around. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Oh man! For anybody who is still lost, Mister Biz is an OC that we we came up with. I came up with whatever. Uh, all he can do is run around and scream. So that that should explain it. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For anybody who still doesn't know what the hell is going on. But yeah. So Biz me. All right, here we good, go. Good luck to you, sir. Fanny Donovan was a normal girl with normal friends and normal porn, normal people, normal people <laughs> and family in a normal life for normal people. That is, until she got a near-death experience in a train accident. Ooh. After she physically recovered from it, things were nev- never <laughs> the it same w- again for her. <laughs> Ooh, woo, notice his telekinesis. <laughs> <laughs> notice his tragedy. It would get uh, more. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, woo, notice his to- fanny. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Uh, Fanny started to become more stressed even over the little things. Uh, she developed a fear for failure and for many things as well. Well, join the club. Then one night, objects in her room began to move as if they were alive. At first, she thought it was her mind's warning sign that she was getting too fed up over everything. So she warned her mother that she was starting to see things. Mm. She was sent to a psychiatrist to help her relieve some of her stress but it did not work in the end for she went downhill more and more. And as she did, her hallucinations of objects floating around got oh, wow. And as she did, <laughs> her hallucinations of objects floating around got worse until she finally realized that these weren't hallucinations at all. She was actually making things fly. She tried all she could to keep it a secret from everyone and to suppress it in public places, but that didn't nearly always work. She learned that it was stress and heavy emotions that fed her powers, but it was already too late to use that information to her advantage. 
The way she learned was the hard way, by impaling her best friend with a knife countless times against her will. Now, after the second or third time, I have trouble believing it's against your will. Yeah. Come on now. Come Come on now, Fanny. When Fanny's mother came home, the uh, mother vagina, if you will, all she found was the corpse and the murder weapon, along with a note saying her daughter had been ki- <laughs> <laughs> Explain. Explain why that's funny. <laughs> a note saying, quotation marks, her daughter had been kidnapped, close quotation marks. So she wrote verbatim, her daughter had been kidnapped. <laughs> You, uh, you, people, you gotta proofread. You gotta proofread. Uh, by the way, Mother not Vagina. Looking for these things, they just happen. Yeah. By the All way, right, Mother if, Vagina is my favorite uh, '60s uh, rock singer. You know it's your favorite. Yeah, absolutely. To yeah. perform at Woodstock. Cool. Mother Vagina. <laughs> You've been down too long in the. All right, it was Fanny's. <laughs> the vaginal seas. God damn it. And it was Fanny's crease. God damn it. <sighs> oh, Sister Christian, but Mother Vagina. It was Fanny's one way to ensure she would never end up killing her beloved parents by faking her getting kidnapped. Hmm. After all, there wasn't any sort of her DNA in the knife thanks to her powers, so to the police it would make sense. Yeah. No, it would not make sense. It would be a cold case, yeah. but okay, I get what you mean. In reality, she crossed the border to Mexico, starting a new homeless life there, traveling from place to place and ever trying to control her telekinesis, with the only results being piles of dead people. Damn. Pretty Isn't cool. that kind of racist? Piles of it's dead like, people? I don't want to stay in here. and I don't want to kill the kick. poor people of Texas. I'm oh, yeah. Mexicans. I want to kill all the Mexicans. Wow. She couldn't have gone to, like, a national forest or something and, like, tried to, you know, just... You know, live off of ranger station rations. Now she had to go to Mexico and kill people. I mean, I almost ranger would give station it... fanny. <laughs> I almost would give it a pass if it said at the end she moved to Mexico, where her random beheadings would be written off to the cartels. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Oof. What if she like slowly starts? She she turns into Scarface. <laughs> she just starts running the cartels. <laughs> Say hello to my numerous friends. <laughs> so fuck with me. I'm going to throw a <laughs> bottle at you, mate. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Say hello to my little friends and then the people get thrown. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I don't, I, you know, not bad artwork. No. The writing very, uh, very isn't cartoony. terrible. Fine. There's not uh, much know, not much character, you know, to go on other than the fact that she has immense power that she's scared of, which, you know, is like one sentence, you know. We we didn't do this for the last two. Um would we steal this? Oh OC? my god. Yeah, Shit, we're gonna we We're gonna have yeah. to re record that. People won't know uh that we've <laughs> we tacked on burning question. Yeah. So O C original uh, original mm. Have you seen something like this before? Yeah, it kind yeah. of feels like um, Jessica Jones sans the telekinesis, but it's like... There's I, also... I mean, Jessica Jones in there. meets sans? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's also 11. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're right. Um, shy girl with telekinetic powers. So I think or, we would... Um, is it Rogue? Rogue from X Men, kind of. Oh, it is literally Rogue because yeah. Rogue ran away from parents. Everyone I touch kills. Everyone I'm near dies. Yeah. No, that's she didn't run away from parents. I'm thinking of Jubilee. Oh, okay. But, but still similar. I mean, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So we we it's a it's a very X Men concept. That run is true. Away, Fanny, never coming back. So we parents of... died on a train track. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> what do we want to think that the train accident she was in is the one from Unbreakable? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we wouldn't say OC, do not steal. We wouldn't say that it's original, necessarily. Uh, character, yeah. C, uh, do we think it has character? Uh, I would say pro- not really, because, as I said, really. and I, I don't want to detract from anything, and I don't want to discourage anybody, but I would say that 
you could say in one sentence uh, has telekinetic powers and is afraid of them. Yeah. And that probably would describe the entirety of what we read. So. Yeah. And out of that, I would also say, I, I think we're moving into Would You Steal? I think mm -hmm. that uh, the artwork itself is, is steel-worthy. Right. Yeah, it's got a nice cartoonish style. I could see this in a webcomic, for example. I could see Very a lot expressive. of people yeah. using the face as an avatar, like on Discord and Twitter and stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't necessarily think you could, because it seems to be like a repeat thing where we say, could you ash can this? <laughs> I don't necessarily <laughs> know if you could ash can it, but yeah. No. So, I mean, I mean, yeah. Th there, there is that element of. The, the idea of putting them in the woods and then there's just mysterious deaths out there. Mm. I think that that's pretty cool. Well, I guess that that is Fearful Fanny. Now, did any of you come out of this with an unreasonable fear of Fanny? No? Well, well, I think we do have to ask about phobia then. That's true. Yeah. Would you yeah. Would you steal phobia? I mean, Jeff oh. Kaplan already did for Moira. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey. Uh, I, I would say, yeah, because we, we really like the idea of photonegative Lucio. <laughs> I would there's definitely... There's a lot to be built upon off of Phobia, for I sure. would definitely steal the creeping terror passive of making people slower within a radius of you. I don't know yeah. if I would make it passive as opposed to something he has to trigger, though, that li has a limited duration. I don't is know. It, is it uh, original, though? <sighs> to me, he looks like Blue Reaper, but... Bleeper. Again, he, he looks like Ezio Bleeper. to me. So I would say the art, not so much, but the concept, yes. Yeah. Yep. And does he have character? We don't know his motivations, why he joined Talon, how he became a surgeon yeah, at 23. Yeah, right. We don't have you're that right. very important part yeah. of, like, why Talon scooped you up. What was your past? Yeah. Because uh, every other character in Talon really does have, like, its own, uh, their their own reason for being there. Like, yeah. even though they're, like, all organized under talent and they're all for the, the same purposes, Sombra has this thing about gathering information on people. Um, Moira is driven by pure scientific, you know, wanting to, to know more right. and, and test the limits of humanity. Uh, Widowmaker uh, loves killing people because it makes her feel alive. Like, they, they all have different roles and there. Doomfist likes uh, evolution yes he's a, a social darwinist mm -hmm. <laughs> and i think is that all the uh talon members so far reaper joined reaper. because they like That's black right. well reaper is like a uh terrorist for hire so i mean yeah kind of, you're right who who what evil organization no, doesn't no, hire no. reaper <laughs> well that's the thing is reaper is a by any means necessary guy yeah which is why he had a disagreement with soldier 76 who was like we got to do this by the books right and then reaper's like we got to do this by killing people right reaper he, was right reaper did nothing wrong reaper was like you know we need to make the world a better place by breaking some of the rules and then listen soldier listen, 76 listen listen, yeah? listen. Mm -hmm. We need to make the world a better place. And how do we do that? Kill random Italians. It's the only way. <laughs> God damn it. No. 